So if we look at specifically at the motor we're looking at tonight, the Surgic Pro, here's a, a smaller picture of it. This is similar to how most implant motors will look. There'll be a, a control panel with the motor. There'll be a line that runs to the handpiece. There'll be a foot pedal. Foot pedal has multiple buttons because once we start treatment, if you've got all your presets into the, the motor, you really shouldn't have to touch this interface uh, because most of it's just on the you're just touching the pedal and touching these buttons and navigating to the things you need. So the, this NSK motor, I can tell you from experience, really a premium implant motor, allows you to control every variable uh, possible, which is very nice. Some of the other uh, motors have fewer features and you can't control as closely the RPM and the Newton centimeters and, and some of the things like that. The NSK motor can adjust the torque from 50 to 80, which most implant motors do not go to 80. They only go to 55. And so that's a nice range. Um, you can bring the 20 to 1 speed up to at least 2,000 RPMs. It's usually, we're not going to want to go that high, in my opinion, for implant drilling. I tend to stay around 1,000 to 1,200. The 1 to 1 speed can go up to 40,000 RPM, and that's used for a variety of bone grafting applications. And then uh, has all these gear ratios that, that help us. One of the nice things, you know, a lot of dental parts and pieces now are being made with LEDs. And I found that some of my piezo hand pieces and things for scaling, you know, they put an LED on there, but it's really not enough light to really see anything with. And we really rely on our, our illumination from surgical uh, headlights and, uh, and the, the operatory lights. But the light on this handpiece is really good. It, it actually does enhance the visibility. It's not just a token LED light. It actually is a very, very good warm light to, to see. And one thing I really like about this, the irrigation control is really good. It has five settings from low to high, and you can change them with the touch of your foot instead of having to squeeze down the, the stopper on the, on the bag which is how you control some of the other uh, common implant motors. Here's the foot controls. This is what I was just talking about. So you can control the coolant solution. You can control the irrigation through touching your foot on that, making it go from low irrigation to high irrigation. You can change the program by tapping on this. And there's presets for eight different programs. So I'll show you the three or four most common. But basically, you just put them in there, and you toggle to your favorite, favorite setting, and, and away you go. And of course, forward and reverse. Nice thing about foot control, keeps everything hands-free. It's ergonomic, it's pretty low profile, easy to, to, easy to find, easy to step. Um, you can toggle between all your preset programs, and we talked about the irrigation. 